Hey church family, it's so good to pretend that you're here with me right now. I miss seeing you guys on Sundays and getting to be close with you. So I just wanna share a little bit with you uh, today about what's going on with me. Um, I think for me, it's been a lot of adjustment to plans that were made, um, the way that I spend my week, everything on top of all of the other, all of the other challenges. So every day I've tried to do something that I never do normally or something that I've never done before. So last week I decided to paddleboard and I've never been paddleboarding, but I thought if those people in American Express can get up on those paddleboards, then so can I, um, which is not necessarily true. Uh, so I get on the paddleboard and it took quite a bit of time. I was with my sister and my daughter and I started at the shore and it all looks so idyllic out there. So I get on the paddleboard and I get going and I feel super healthy and, um, and I'm paddling slowly and I got out a little bit and the wind began to pick up um, at an alarming rate. And so I'm paddling and paddling and I'm just like, okay, I'm like, I'm like floating faster in another direction. And at that time, Olivia is on a paddleboard and she's just like floating out, like no big deal. She doesn't care that she's close to the boundaries they've set. And it occurs to me, we've never even taught her how to drive a paddle boat. I don't know if that's a thing that, I don't know if you drive it or ride it, whatever. Anyway, so I'm like kind of looking at her and I'm looking at the situation and I'm like paddling. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm ki not kidding you. I like run backwards. My pad, I wasn't going forward. I like slide backwards and totally plow into a parked boat. Um, it shocked me and then it starts to mess with my paddleboard and it knocks me off. And so I'm knocked off and I'm flipping out and I'm flailing in the water. I'm just like, you know, and that's, wow, that was so many calories. And I'm, and I'm like thrusting myself back on my board. And um, my daughter has a picture of this because even though she's floating out to sea, she has time to take a picture of it, but whatever. And I'm just like, feverishly paddling. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen with her. Should we get her help? And my sister's, you know, on the shore videoing me falling off my paddle um, board. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, and I'm panicked and I'm panicked. And I have this thought that occurs to me. I see how deep this water is. Check it out. And so I try to touch the ground and uh, it turns out I'm only in waist deep water. It's really actually pretty shallow. I'm able to stand up. Um, it's a little bit like right here and um, I'm able to stand up and push my board where I want it. I'm able to talk to Olivia. I'm able to, to um, take my sister's phone and throw it in the ocean so that nobody gets a copy of what had just happened. And I, and I realized in that moment of all of this uncertainty, many of us were just paddling. We're paddling so hard. We're trying to make sure our kids are happy and that they're peaceful and we're trying to make sure that our work is fine and that we're doing everything we can and we're praying for some of our parents and we're praying for friends in the community and we are feverishly paddling. But let me tell you, friend, we can stand up. We can stand up because we have Christ in our hearts. He's our rock. He's holding us up. It's like we have this safety, this net. And in, in the scripture says, Psalm 62, it says, yes, my soul find rest in God. My hopes come from Him. My, um, truly He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my rock, my refuge. Trust Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. So what we have, is that we're surrounded by a whole world that's paddling really fast right now. So take the time, take the time to share about your rock, your hope. We have a rock to stand on. So I ask you, church friend, and I'm telling myself too, stand on him, find the peace, and share that with the people in our lives. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you soon and hug you really big and, and all be back together because we're part of one big, huge family standing on the rock that is Christ.